What is up guys? It is Nick and we are back on Near Automata. Gonna continue our playthrough. Had some recording issues here and there, so uh Yeah. We're um we're actually gonna be turning in the quest. We had to go back in time a little bit. And uh, we are going to be turning in the quest and grabbing that quest. I forgot we had to do that. Um, I had some massive recording issues last night. I eventually just gave up and went to bed. I had work early today, so I just gave up and went to bed. But uh, hopefully, hopefully everything's good. I completely turned off my laptop last night, turned off the PVR completely. And so hopefully we are good to go today. So let's grab this quest first. We already read all this, so I don't think we really need to read it again. Alright. Alright, so we got the oil again, and it's time to go and give it to, uh, to Pascal. So this is... Well, what do you think? <laughs> He just started transmitting to us directly. Now do you believe we're not a threat? Your mouth can say anything it wants, but you still don't have a heart. I suppose that's technically accurate. Yes, well, you're free to visit our village whenever you like. I like Pascal. But uh, I did play some of this upcoming mission before I realized that my PVR just stopped. It, it, it kept running. It was really weird. It kept running, and it recorded the full time that I recorded. It just didn't record any video. It recorded partial audio. It was just kind of weird, but hopefully it's all good to go today. Um, I think my plan is going to be two videos of this every day, and then every other day or every third day we'll do a Detroit video. Um, that's not too big of a deal. Um, I, I don't have to get that finished anytime soon, so... I think one one every day, other day, or one every third day is good for Detroit. Um, obviously, I guess I should probably try to finish Detroit. It'll probably become every other day for now, and then it'll become one every three days once uh, Red Faction Gorilla, the remastered edition thing, comes out. All right, so we got these two shops here. Um, they're pretty much just the basic shops, but there is a dialogue here. Um, with the other, with the weapon salesman. So, welcome. Are you looking for anything? Would like to fill up on those. Have exactly $14,000. Let's talk to the weapon trader. Welcome. Even though none of your, the villagers want to fight, I have weapons here just in case. Care to take a look? He has some nice weapons, but nothing crazy. Um, I need to find some dented plate, titanium alloy, and severed cables. Uh, I learned how to make weapons from a legendary uh, swordsmith in the forest. I wish he'd come to the village. I wonder if there is a legendary swordsman that you can find, or a legendary swordsmith in the forest that you can actually find. Alright, so Pascal's up top here. Oh, you brought me some high viscosity oil. Anemone is just so kind and understanding. If only all androids and machines could live together in peace like this. Never gonna happen. I guess not. I'd appreciate it if you could help out with some of the other machines as well, though. After all, the only way to understand someone is to get to know them. Isn't that right? Fair enough. What's that noise? Kubi, this is an emergency transmission from the bunker. We're reading a Goliath-class enemy inside the city ruins. And it looks like there are a ton of other machines there with it. All your hut units should proceed and engage immediately. But Goliath? This was a trap. I knew it. I promise you, we were not aware of this information. I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low, but I hope you will nonetheless. We'll sort it out later. Let's go. I honestly believe her. Like, I, it just doesn't seem like it matters. Like... If I don't, like, it just doesn't make any sense to me that she betrayed us. I don't know. Maybe I have flawed be, thinking, but that's my logic. Command is deploying new flight units for us. They just set the coordinates, so let's get going. On it. 
So the plan now that I figured out that I'm gonna upload two of these a day is that these will go live uh, sometime at probably around 9 or 10 a.m. Eastern and around 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern. If I upload a Detroit video that day, uh, the Detroit video will probably go up at 7 a.m. Eastern. Maybe early, maybe, yeah, no, 7 a.m. Eastern, and we'll push back the uh, the near release uh, to like uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do 9 or 10, probably 11 or noon, maybe one, probably noon though. That put one up at 7 and then one up at noon, and then one up at uh, 6 or 7 at night. I think those just work out the best. The flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. It'll be dangerous, but we're not going anywhere unless we pass through that Goliath's legs. We should be careful. We don't actually have to pass through the Goliath's legs. Just kind of take this roundabout route. I don't know why you would ever go over that way to get in between the Goliath's legs, but... You can, but you don't have to. Alright, so here's a mistake that I made my first time. If you, you can jump all the way up, but there's actually just stairs, which is much easier. All the way to the top. Actually, I think there's more stairs. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, are we not at the top? I thought we were at the top. Now are we at the top? Nope, still not at the I thought we were... <laughs> Okay. How about now? Now we're at the top. Yeah! Damn it! To me! Displaying data on central wiring hub. This thing is level three. This thing is like the thing we first started fighting. Land back down to the there we go. Oh, I got hit! Totally messed that up, but this thing is so easy to beat, it's a joke. Go, hit it for 600 damage. This stuff is so easy to dodge because it shoots twice at your last known location. Set it for 600 in the face again. Dodge. Okay, it wasn't even close to hitting me. Your aim needs a little work, buddy. Yeah, it's not even close to hitting me. That's what I'm saying. This fight's so easy. It's really hard to get hit. I can't believe I got him. Slightly embarrassed that they did get hit once. And it's down. Level up. Level Let's get to 11 now. It's what we can. We haven't been in these since the beginning. Be careful. The skies are packed with anti air weapons. Make sure to approach at low altitude. Copy that. Alright. Let's do this. My thing is still recording, so that's good. And we've got another Goliath. This one's like super pathetically easy to beat. That laser beam is super easy to dodge because it just shoots right down the middle. This is one of the attacks that's kind of annoying. Oh, I didn't dodge through it. Oh well, look at this thing's health. It's a level 5, it's a little bit harder. Let me do this again. Doing the rocket. Dip out. Dodge away, and it is down. So easy. So easy, it's just slight work out here. But you knew it couldn't be that easy. Target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. 
Look out! It's recharging! Enemy vibrations are growing in intensity. It's resonating in tandem with the area beneath the combat zone. <laughs> What the... Unbelievable. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years... ...were hiding underground? I really want to know here, how do they know that it's an alien? How do they know it's aliens? It says alien alert. How do they know? All it did was open up a crater in the ground. Like, how do I... Or how do they know specifically that... Oh, there's aliens down there! But this is essentially as far as I made it. I got to here and was watching the cutscene and boom, looked over at my laptop and it was not recording. Yorha, this is your commander. For the first time in centuries, we've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine life forms on this planet. If we can destroy them, we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Glory to mankind. I used command's data to determine the signal's source and marked it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. All right, if well, we're lucky. We're... You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? I'm for picking up all these items, because there's a ton. I think a lot of copper and crystals and... Not, like, the greatest loot, but... Loot nonetheless. Is there loot over there is loot over there? Hmm. Looks like I can't get around, but there is an item here that I just barely caught sight of. But I don't think Oh, maybe I can get around this way. Huh. Copper ore. That's a weird looking enemy. What the Those remind me oh, I can't remember what they're called. Um, oh my, I, oh my god, I can't think of what they're called. I wonder where that tunnel leads. Is there an item up here? Where was that item that I saw? Okay, so you gotta go... Is it up a floor? Where's that item? Okay, back out here. Yeah, it's up a floor. Okay. It's probably just gotta go around. Man, I forget what those things remind me of, so it's like, it's like completely pointless that I even brought it up, but they look exactly like something else from another game. Man, there are so many items around here, this is ridiculous. Give me all the free loot. But look at all the loot I still see. This is crazy. I mean, it's all generally the same stuff, but I mean, why not loot it? Got a tree sap, and I saw one more loot here, and then we'll go. I think that's good enough. We got a majority of the loot. Well, here we go. These things all gonna fight me at the same time. Okay, you hit hard. What is it shooting? Oh, you got. Oh, you guys just had to come down. I wanna shoot. 
those guys kill these guys before they become really annoying down here. Okay, kill these things. I gotta heal. Oh my gosh, I'm getting... Please, kill this idiot. Not this, thank you. Okay. Let me get out of the circle of death. I gotta heal. It's almost dead. And I got hit again. The heck are you supposed to fight this thing? All right, I got hit, but we killed it. Okay, without those little things there, I can probably learn its movements a little bit better. Got a couple hits in. Oh, got the edge out. There we go. There we go. Okay, that was a much better fight right there. Wasn't there three? Already... I thought there were three of them. I missed an item, so... I missed two items. Three items. Wow. This is literally Loot City down here. Guess it makes sense it hasn't been uncovered for a long time. Makes sense that there's loot. Alright. Go to our objective, I guess. Ah, oh, there's an item over there. Eh, forget it. I'll grab this item, though. Boom, silver ore obtained. The ground is caved in. There must have been a hollow down there this whole time. Am I supposed to jump? Hold on. Is that like a... I don't know. Let's try. Oh, I think we were supposed to jump. Alright, we're good. What's back here? A uh, chest I can't open. Okay. Onward we go. An item here. Only one path. Alright, let's go this way. This hallway looks pretty old. This hallway is really tight. I think we can kill them before they get to us, yeah. This hallway is really tight to try to fight in. You're dodging back. I gotta remember, I gotta dodge back. I'm gonna dodge, we gotta dodge back. Unless something spawns behind us. He's got a dodge back. Ooh, new enemy. Oh my gosh, I got hit. It swung like right when I... That was just stupid. Level 12, nice. It like, I went in the swing and it swung right when I like dashed in to hit it. Oh, oh, there is a guy. I thought the... I thought my little... Mechanical buddy, I thought he was uh, an enemy. <laughs> oh, look, you're stuck. Uh, the cheese. Got an item. This light is really some hot garbage. Alright. What do we. We have some stairs down here. Look oh at my god. these what dead is... machines. Seems like they've been here for a long time. Just a couple of machines. This reminds me of like uh, that area in Alien vs. Predator. Not the game, the, the movie Alien vs. Predator. What is this place? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. I mean, this is like almost not identical, but this is really similar looking to like A to Alien vs. Predator, that first movie, which is a great movie. I love that movie. We've triggered something. What the heck are those? Dead? To be. 
Look! Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome <laughs> to the oh, not... graveyard of our creators. Not these idiots again. Are these... Wait, are these the same two that I fought earlier? You. To be. Look out. My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago by us, the machines. Wiped out? And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. Oh, shit. We can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us, but the humans on the moon, now they are interesting. Why them? Because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity, and now we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's simple. We need you to locate oh, the humans oh. on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers. Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining option is to destroy you. The same way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. These guys are freaking OP! Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> what? They're just Go gone? On. Are they gonna end up being like the final boss? What is this? The aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Those dudes were straight. Oh, freaking P. Is there any items around here? I did like a, like a eighth of his health bar. That was ridiculous. His name was Eve, so I'm going to assume the other's name is Adam. So I wonder Back if this way they again? will. What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. I agree with him that running back here is annoying. 2B, this is Operator 60. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they'd finally got it working. Anyway, I'll mark the positional data on the map. What is this? What, I can't interact with this? Um, game? Why? Okay. It's really weird. I don't know what that is. Just a locked door? Okay. I'll have to remember that to come back. Who's this? Oh, it's Jackass! It's the, the Resistance Lady. Hey, how's it hanging? You again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transporter up and running, too. Um, thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? 
So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. You should be able to zap yourself here from any from other transporters now. You're certainly active in a lot of areas, aren't you? Shut the hell up, you'll make me blush. Alright, now that I unlock that, let's try to go back to this door. I want to get this door open. Oh, this isn't the door. I want to open those. Is that like a second playthrough type thing? I know you're supposed to play through this game four or five times to really get the full story. I need to look it up if it's four or if it's five, because I'm going to play it on the channel, all of them, but obviously I need to know so I don't play like a fifth time for no reason. Where was that? Where was that doorway? No, I went too far. Where the heck is it? It's much easier to see coming from this direction because there's a definite fork in the road. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. It won't let me open it. It's red. I guess I have to turn it green. Got no idea how to do that, so... Forget about that for now. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but... Because it's just a red and green light, but maybe two lights. Second playthrough. Access points. Teleport. Select transport and access points to travel to other terminals. There are lots of access points all over the world, but you'll need to unlock them before you, you can use them. Alright, so we can go to the Resistance Camp, City Ruins Center, City Ruins Near Factory, Desert Camp, Desert Housing Complex, Plex, and Pascal's Village. So we're supposed to go to the bunker, so let's head there. We'll turn in this, or we'll talk to the commander, uh, and then we'll call it an episode unless it throws us into something. I wonder when we get the... I wonder if those are the same two guys that... Uh, Remember the android, weird alien android? That, I don't that know concludes what to call our it. report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course. Your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Okay, I just want to point something out on the commander here. Are, is she just getting really risque with her dre her outfit there? They're like pants underneath, because I can't tell. Like... I can't tell if that's a dress or if she or if there's something underneath that or she's like super risque. Like she could just have some like not pants but like spandex type thing under it, but I can't tell that just looking at that that's just really risque. I don't really know exactly what's going on there, but she uh she might be uh Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. She's showing quite a lot a of uh... to be. It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. She's showing a heck of a lot of skin. If that's skin. Okay, so we got a ton of stuff here. Okay, Operator 60, never mind. Remember that message I sent you about Jupiter fortune telling? I the girls in R&D do it for me, and I got the worst readings possible for health, work, and love. But that's when I realized something. That stuff is a bunch of occult crap. I mean, how are you supposed to figure out your destiny by observing another planet? Ridiculous. I'll forge my destiny all on my own. That's the truest desire every Yoro woman of every Yoro woman anyway, right? Ha ha ha. Anonymous. Those coordinates? Uh, except... What would the third one be? Latitude, longitude, and height? I don't really know what else the other one could be, so I don't really know what those are. 
Confidential mission details. Your new mission is to capture renegade Yora members. Not only did this member go AWOL, but we have confirmed that they engaged in unlawful contact, in conduct, including the theft of resistance resources. They are to be taken into custody as soon as possible. Operator 60. Note that this is a direct order from the commander. Forwarding it is forbidden. Jackass fish. Hey, sorry to bring this out of the, up out of the blue, but I've got a fish. All right, Siri, what are you doing? What, what did I say, Siri, that made you pop up? All right, sorry to bring this up out of the blue, but I've got a fish I want to recommend to your units. Er, or to be more specific, I want you to eat it so I can study how its oils affects your unit. You know, for science. Anywho, stop by if you get bored. It's my treat, jackass. Pascal, valuable information. My friend, it feels as if we haven't spoken quite some time. It's been like 30 minutes, Pascal. As it turns out, many stores in our village recently acquired a new number of items, and I wanted to be sure that everyone from Yora was aware of this. I would be also be delighted if you would commit to memory that there are some out there who, despite being machine life points, life forms are willing to open their hearts and share such valuable information. Yours, yours in friendship, Pascal. So we need to go back to Pascal's village. Yora betrayers accepted. What was that mail about? Hypothesis. The numbers may indicate coordinates. Oh, ho, ho. that's what I'm talking about. I knew what I was talking about. There are three locations. The desert, the flooded city, and the forest. Mark them on my map. Affirmative. Mysterious letter accepted. Nice. Let's go ahead and take a rest. Then we can call it an episode. Um, we can re- Ooh, large recovery. We're going to need to buy those. So let's get these back up to 50. This back up. And now we got to invest uh, 20. I'm going to get, nah, I can't get 9,000 worth. Uh, yeah, let's get 20 of the large. I think it's worth it. Make sure we got plenty of health. I want to get some of these HUD upgrades, but I want to save some money. Um... I do want to keep freshly stocked up on health and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and take a break. And I'll go ahead and save. But uh, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. In the next episode, we will uh, go ahead and go back and talk to Pascal, I guess. And then if nothing else comes of that, we don't get another main mission. We'll take on some side quests. I do want to take on some side quests soon, but... Uh, I do want to continue the main story right now. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you all in the next episode of Nier Automata. Peace out.